Who was walking the dog? I was. Were you there? Not for the walking of the dog. Then it's not so. particularly relevant. Why don't you have a seat? Mr. Bernstein, you were walking a dog. Yes, I was. I think you said it was your wife's service dog? Correct. What kind of a dog is it? It's a Belgian Malinois. You have a picture of that dog? Yes, I do. I'd like to take a look at it. I've never heard of it. There will be this dog right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. there you go. And there's a different, same, same dog. Same dog. So it's a big dog. 57 pounds. And Mr. and Mrs. Allen, you weren't there when this incident happened, is that correct? Correct, correct Your Honor. But your two girls were walking your two dogs. Yes. So you can sit down Thank and your you. girls can step up. Tell me your name. Chloe. And yours? Alexi. And what kind of dog were you walking? An American Bull Massive. Do you have a picture of that dog? Thank you. Okay, and that's a pretty big dog. How much does that dog weigh? Uh, I'm not quite sure, Your Honor. 95 pounds. Okay. And what kind of a dog were you walking? Um, American Bulldog. American Bulldog. And how much does that dog weigh? About 42 pounds. Okay. Do you girls walk these dogs regularly? Yes. Do you? I'm her cousin, so I'm, I don't... You don't walk the dog regularly? No. Okay. You walk which dog regularly? Both of them. Yourself? Yes. That's a lot of power. Okay. So this incident happened, and it was an incident where you claimed that the defendant's dogs bit yours. It happened on what date? Uh, January 27th of this year. And is that your chart? Yes. Walk over to the chart and tell me, as you're going over there, what time of the day did this happen? This happened at uh, 7.35 p.m. And where do you live? Uh, Los Angeles. So in January at 7.35, it's getting dark out? Yes. Okay. So show me where you were. I walked out of the back gate of our building. I crossed the four lanes of traffic over to the side where the LAPD Topanga station is. And I was standing here. Oh, the dog was, you know, sniffing around and doing her business. You crossed the street? Yes. Why wouldn't you walk the dog on your side of the street? Because on this side of the street, on the police station side, there is dirt and there is uh, grass and shrubbery around. And on your side? And on this side, there is a concrete sidewalk and then a car dealership. Okay. And? I crossed over. The dog was sniffing around, doing her business. I looked back. I saw, looking back at our building, I saw the two girls with two dogs on the second floor waiting by the elevator area. Oh, is your building an open area? Uh, yes, it is. May I see? And that is a picture looking backwards towards the back gate. Do you, Chloe? Yes. Do you and Mr. Bernstein live in the same building? We do. Before you continue, Chloe. Yes. When you walk your dogs. Yes. Do you also cross over the street? I do. For the same reason that Mr. Bernstein says he does? Yes. That that's more grass and yes. it, more interesting messages for your dogs? Mm-hmm. Is that right? Yes. Okay. And you live on the second floor? Yes. Okay. So you say you saw Right. I'm girls. looking backwards. I saw them on the second floor landing waiting by the elevator. Go ahead. At that point, the dog is still doing her business. I hear the back gate slam. And when I turn around to see what is now happening, their dog is pulling the girl across the street. Which she, dog? The larger the, one? The larger one. Only one dog engaged, which was the larger one. The smaller one did not engage at all. 